Now let's take a look at the future perfect continuous tense. This tense is used to talk about how long an action had been taking place up until a certain point in the future. Our examples are, for the positive sentence, we have our subject, you, and three auxiliary verbs, will, have, been, and then our main verb in the present participle form. Again, that's the verb plus ing. For our negative form, again, we're simply inserting the word not between will and have. And to ask our question, we invert will with the subject. Here we're using you. And we come up with a question, will you have been watching? And the rest of our sentence. As with the other future tenses, the word will can be substituted for other modal verbs. These modal verbs would indicate varying levels of certainty for the future. So again, we could substitute may or might for the word will. Also with the future tenses, the will and not will contract into its contracted form of won't.